Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Janira. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking, Janira. It's Thursday. How was your day? Um, relax. My day, relax. Are you are you working? Yes. Okay, nice. So you leave at work at five, or what time do you leave work? Sorry? What time do you leave work? One hour. Ah, uh, one hour. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I see. So, good, good. So you work uh, until five or not? Como dijo? ¿Usted trabaja hasta las cinco? Trabajo de las siete de la mañana hasta las cuatro treinta y tres de la ah, tarde. That's nice. It's really nice. Pero vivo, sí, um, una hora más o menos de mi trabajo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Then uh, it's, it's kind of hard. Right, because if, you, if it's an hour, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of time. It's, if you have to travel one hour every day, that's a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, it is a lot. Okay, we're going to start in a minute, okay? We're going to wait for the rest to connect so we can get started. Okay. Sonia dijo que iba a estar de oyente ahora porque se iba a quedar a trabajar hasta tarde. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah, no problem. You know, if she has inconvenience, yeah, she can just be a listener, which is going to be okay. They just need to, uh, they just need to make sure maybe to watch the class or um, complete the exercises. So that's crucial. That's important. Hello, Alfredo. How's, how's everything? Hello. Um, so here we have Ana Maria. Also here and Fatima, right? Clara, Clara is also here. So welcome, welcome. Today's it's Thursday, and I'm really happy to be here connected with you guys again. <clears throat> this is amazing. Today is our first. Let's see, is we finished our first week today. You know, today's our session number four. Okay, you see how time flies. And how are you doing with the platform? Are you about to finish, I don't know, you tell me, how are you doing? Do you need any help in the specific exercises so we can discuss? Yo no le entiendo a, a, unas, a unos ejercicios. Um, quiero ver, creo que es el... Um, El cuatro. Four. Cuatro, ajá, cuatro, tres punto cuatro. Tres punto cuatro. Tres punto cuatro. Vamos a ver qué se con los demás, no voy a meter a la plataforma. Vamos bueno, a check the platform para que lo revisemos juntos, ¿ok? Ok. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see, I'm just trying to access the platform. Hey, yeah, so now I am displaying, uh, I'm showing an image. Do you know what is celebrated today in the, in the, in the United States? What do, we, what do Americans celebrate today? Do you know? 
acción de gracias. Yeah, Thanksgiving. No, Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's that's today, right? Thanksgiving. And um, so because of that, I would like to ask you a question. Can you see what is on the screen? So the question for you is, what are you thankful for today? What are you thankful for, class? Let's take maybe one minute. We're not gonna take long. Just I want to, to just to break the, the eyes, you know, to see how you feel and so on. If you don't mind sharing with me how or what are you thankful for or what are you grateful for, you know, you can open your microphone and tell me. I have given you some choices there. Maybe you can use one of them and then also you you can tell me the I don't know the explanation as to why you you say you select one of the choices I'm giving you, or maybe you can decide to tell me something else, but it's not listed here. Huh? Tell me, what are you thankful for, class? Nobody wants to talk today? Come on. Come on, come on. Ya terminé la dos y la una. Pero nice. Okay. Estoy, I'm accessing to the platform. Estoy revisando los ejercicios ahorita. Okay. Por si alguien me dijo, ¿cuál me dijo, perdón? El cuatro punto. Tres punto cuatro de la sección dos. Esperemos. Pero si es 3.4, ya es la sección 3. Mm. No. Uh -huh. Si es 3.4, entonces es, este, ya está, usted está en la otra. May I take your order? Podemos revisarlo, solo asegúrese si ese es el que habla de, este, el uso de, comienza con, I'm not crazy about French, ese. French food, ¿Es esta, ¿de qué estamos hablando? Mm, dice, the question number one, mm -hmm. what should I do for, 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 it, it is important, some okay. vitamin C. So, but then, then it's not 3.4, it should be something different, maybe, maybe 4, 4, 2.6. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, it's okay. Sí, 2.6 sí makes sense. 2.6 makes sense. Okay, yeah, we can check it out right now. Okay. So, class, um, welcome once again. It's another class. Really happy to be here. I had a very busy day today because tomorrow I have graduations at school. I was decorating, you know, and a lot of, doing a lot of things preparing for tomorrow. And uh, I also had a training, you know, for teachers. So basically, my day was a little bit busy. I just arrived home, but I'm really happy to be here with you guys so we can, you know, learn together. We can make sure all the platform exercises are finished, if it's possible today. And um, this is about section number two, which is it really works. So that's the mission. The mission is to help you guys um, solve all the exercises. If you have questions, to, today is the day. And besides that, I'm gonna be um, is providing some other exercises like practice using model bears. So that's gonna be for today, practicing model bears and responding to some possible questions you might have, okay? I don't know if there is anyone who wants to open you know, your microphone and talk about the question on the screen. Alguien me pidió también que hablar en español, voy a estarlo haciendo, debido a que no, la idea no es confundirlos, ¿ok? The idea is to help. I know this is intermediate, pre-intermediate, ya tienen que exigirse un poco más, eh, pero puedo hacer un switch to Spanish whenever it is necessary, ¿ok? So let's see. Um, me gustaría saber, I would like to know, si el ejercicio, cuál es la, la pregunta que tiene. Son five questions. ¿Cuál es el que tiene dudas? The, the first one, it says, what should I do for a sore throat? It's important 
y luego dice son, son vitamin C. Ahí nos hace falta un infinitive. ¿Qué verbo ah, complemento? Ah, er, eso era lo que no entendía. ¿Qué era lo que le hacía falta? Ah, un infinitive. Hagamos okay. eso. ¿Cuál sería el infinitive? What should I do if... I'm sorry. Alguien lo dijo to ya. Take. To take, exactly. To take some medicine. Some vitamin C. Puede ser to take some vitamin C. To take, um, to take, to take. Actually, that's the only one. Ese es el único. Solo le van a escribir entonces to take some uh, vitamin C. Sería lo ideal. Así lo dejan. En ese paréntesis van a poner to take some vitamin C. Incluyen lo que está entre paréntesis porque no está puesto en oración. Entonces significa que lo vamos a incluir a nuestra respuesta. To take some vitamin C. Like, like it is in the, in the paréntesis. And so it is in the next ones. Tenemos what should I do for a fever. It's a good idea. Y luego dice lots of liquids. Ahí necesitamos un infinitive, lo que vimos ayer. El infinitivo, un verbo que lleva to, eso dijimos ayer, ¿ok? Uh, voy a dejar de compartir ya esta imagen, debido a que no escuché ninguno, todas están quizás, no están tan agradecidos. <laughs> It's okay. Well, uh, what other questions? Before I get started, con unos ejercicios que quiero que hagamos juntos a medida de práctica, me gustaría saber si alguna otra duda tienen en cuanto a la plataforma. Mm -hmm. What questions do you have? Mm -hmm. Estamos bien. Are you sure we are okay? No questions about the platform. Puede ser un ejercicio en específico. Uh, two for today. Yeah, section two is for today. Actually, it's not for today. It is for tomorrow. Pero yo estoy dando un, un espacio ahora porque hoy es el último día de la semana. Ya mañana no nos conectamos. Tomorrow no nos conectamos y la otra semana comenzamos con section number three de un sol. Sí, uh -huh. Pero según las clases ya usted ya está impartiendo la, la unidad dos. En la sección número dos. De hecho ya la terminamos. Hoy solo falta el complemento de una práctica vamos a revisar y ya se termina todo. Uh -huh. de la section number two. Sí, de hecho es bien poco. No hay mucho. Vamos a resolver unos ejercicios de morals. Solo voy a este, mostrar lo que hicimos ayer. Quiero que retomemos el, el diálogo ya que no lo logramos revisar como tal. Lo que se acaban de conectar. Bienvenidos. Y este, solo pedirles de que si tienen dudas, que por favor las hagan, porque eso nos ayuda a ir poco a poco aclarando. Alguien me dijo, speak Spanish. Yo quiero, I think I can do it, you know, um, bajo mi propia responsabilidad. Este, la verdad que yo he trabajado con Insafor y I think yo tengo un rato de hacerlo. Y pues, eh, si es necesario, yo siempre lo he hecho. I speak Spanish. Es el momento, pues, si es en función de que eso sirva para aclarar dudas, I can do it. Pero sí, dejarles bien claro que a su nivel se espera de ustedes que ya vayan solo, bueno, exigiéndose hablar inglés all the time. Y traten de inferir quizás algunas cosas por su contexto. Pero esto no es... Camisa de fuerza is not something that mandatory, you know, we can make a switch into our mother tongue if it is necessary, okay? So once again, I will really appreciate if you guys can tell me if you don't understand. If you have any specific question, just make sure to, uh, to ask it again. So let's go back. Let's review the topics. We're discussing model verse. La verdad que no me gusta hablar demasiado, pero quiero que ustedes me ayuden compartiendo sus ejemplos y preguntas. Voy a dar esta idea. Yesterday we talked about how to connect, how to connect uh, infinitives with uh, expressions, right? And then uh, you gave me some ideas. 
So I'm, I'm displaying at this moment some of these uh, suggestions and advice is, I don't know, I would love to hear maybe one or three participations providing me with an example, the structure I am presenting at this moment. The exercise I would just ask is about uh, infinitive. Do you have questions about this or are we okay? Would you like, or would you be so kind as to provide me with one example? Anything that comes to your mind. For example, uh, with a, for example, when I feel bad for um, headache, I can to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, I can go to the doctor, yes. I can go to the doctor. That's using a, a model. That's what you just said. It's uh, it's something that we have to um, make sure we avoid including or adding that the, the word to, like the connector or this little particle to. Remember that, okay? Just we say can go to the doctor. We don't say can go can to go, it's like can go at once, okay? But that's that's okay. Now you know it, no, I'm saying you're not gonna say can to go, you, you're gonna say can go, because after a model verb, you're gonna have like base form. So we have a practice with this to reinforce that part. Now, uh, yesterday we talked about this conversation and I would like to hear once again the pronunciation and, and let's, let's check on the model verbs. So, Two volunteers, the one who didn't uh, participate yesterday. Y algunos de un gran montón de cámaras apagadas. Solo está permitido cámaras apagadas, cameras off, si usted tiene ha reportado o tiene algún problema, está en su trabajo, pero está en su casa, tiene la cámara apagada. It's not permitted, remember that. Remember that. Alfredo is going to participate, and I don't know who else, and Roberto. Roberto, pharmacist, and Alfredo, Mrs. Webb. Okay, go ahead, guys. Thank you so much. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Will I have some time for a couch? Well, I suggest a box of this coke throw. Thank you. And what do you suggest for this king? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more time, my team, my husband has no energy this Days, can you suggest anything? You should try some of these multivitaminic. They are excellent. Great. May I have three layers bottle, please? Right, so thank you. Uh, I want to just go over some specific words and some suggestions for everybody. When you have the word help and you, this one, as you can see here, you can connect the P with the Y sound. Can I help you? Q, 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 Q. Make the linking sound here, connect it, so it sounds just one word. Can I help you? Q, can I help you? Can I help you? May I help you? Would I help you? Should I help you? Pew. So you can easily say pew and it sounds, sounds good. It even sounds more natural and more like um, well pronounced. So I can say, hi, may I help you? May I help you? May I help you? Pew. And then I was going to say, suggest is the verb suggest, suggest, suggestion. Cough, like uh, uh, when you have a cough. And then cough drops is of course, okay. This is dry, the, this dry, in this case, it's working as, a, as an adjective, dry skin. 
Like uh, when you have dry skin, you need to put on something, right? Your skin is too dry, you need to put on some, I don't know, ointments or depends or lotion in, the, in this scenario. So it's, you know, you don't have this dryness on your skin. And then um, we have also, let's see, one more thing. Um, one more thing, my husband has no energy. Can I, can you, can you suggest, can you suggest, can you suggest multivitamins, multivitamins, multivitamins. And then, let's see, they're excellent tray may I have, may I, may I, connected, may I. As you say, could I, could I, could I, could I, may I. Could I, could I have, could I have, could I, could I have, could I, could I, could I, may I, may I, may I, connected. All right, so these ones that are the ones that I'm just pointing out, class, they are, they are, um, they are model verse. Okay, I'm going to use a different color so you know the ones we are just pointing. They are model verse. It doesn't allow me to change the color, so I'm gonna use the same color. Hold on, let me see. No, it's not. It's not letting me use it. But anyways, so I'm gonna use maybe um blue. So. Could I, one model, may, another model there. Then we have, um, can you again? Then what else do we have? Um, may I, Th those are model pairs. Now, what's the difference? Do you know what's the difference between, uh, or how do we know what to use in which context? When do I use may, when do I use can, or when do I use could? Do you have any idea, class? Any idea? Whatever whatever you have learned, whatever you want to say, it's okay. So I'm gonna listen to some of your ideas. When do we use may? When do we use can? Or when do we use could? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Guys, let's see. Any, any, anybody, whatever you want to say, it's okay. Do you know when to use, when to use can, when to use may, why, or how does it work? May is a more formal way to, to use uh, like a poder, and can is. I don't know how. Uh, what do you say about this? Mm -hmm. Is is a um, a bear and cool is the pass of can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. What you're saying is right. Yeah, and also you just mentioned something important about the use of of may. May class is more like that. That indicates permission, right? It's, it's formal too. And when we talk about could and can, could is more formal. Could is like uh, very polite, right? That's politeness. Okay, uh, let me do something really quick with you guys here. Let's see. I'm going to do something quick. Just five questions. No more. Five questions. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. One second. I wanna do some exercises with modal verse class because uh, we have finished the, the section number two. Actually, it just talks about, you know, modal verse. And then uh, I, want to, I want to practice with you. But once again, if you just connected, if you have any question about anything in specific in regards, you know, the platform, just let me know. I will be happy to, you know, to help you with any questions you might have. We're gonna, I'm gonna be asking for some specific, you know, let's see. I'm gonna start with this really quick quiz. See, I have like a couple of quiz prepared for today. And um, I'd like to know how much you know about modelers, including the ones we already know. So let me start with this one. Let's see, there's a message. I couldn't continue with my exercise routine. Mm -hmm. That's indicating an ability in the past, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's use this one. Let's see, hopefully it's going to. Mm 
Let's see. Jenny, what's the answer here? Yes, teacher. What's the answer, Jenny? Can you see? Choose the correct form of the verb to complete the sentence. She, and then we have was, is, will, can. What do you think? Is. She is. I speak French yes. fluently. You sure? I'm yes. Gonna, I'm going to click it, but then take a look what happened. No, it's can because it's an ability. Can speak. Okay. But then it's okay. We're just practicing. Okay. Now, let me choose another one for, this, for the next one. I'm going to choose David. David, David Alberto. Second one for you, David. Take a look at this one. In which sentence is can used to talk about possibility? Possibility. What do you think? Mm. I can't wait to see you. Let's click it and let's check it. Oops. It's talking about can't believe it's Friday. That was a that was a great one. Maybe the other one was more like um it's telling a um something that it can happen, <clears throat> right? But then what about this one? Let's take a look at this one. Selena, what do you think? What about this one? Select the sentence where may is used to express a strong possibility. What do you think? Analyze the sentence. You, uh, you make your selection and also uh, remember that more adverse class are used to express possibility, some of them to press requests, or there are some of them are more like polite and the other ones. And this one is strong possibility. Analyze it. Uh, I might not, I have. I might not have seen her. Mm -hmm. okay. Oops, but I know need to need to reinforce <laughs> this a little bit. I understand. Complete the sentence with the appropriate modal verse. This is easier. Who wants to do it? Can shoot must could. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Diego, Diego, yeah. You must because it's our vacation. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Much. You can go to the party if you finish. It's not, it's like just, it's more like a condition. It's, it's being specified here. Choose the correct form of the verb to complete the sentence. This is a lot more easier. So which is the correct one? Analyze it, please. Who wants to volunteer? Cool. Okay, let's click it. Okay, now yeah. we're talking. Cool. Now we're talking. Very good. Okay, yeah. Five more sentences. Just to self-evaluate ourselves, see how we're doing. Which model is used to express uh, possibility in the present? What do you think? This is like the easiest one that I'm giving you. Which model is used to express my present? Which one? The model bears used to express possibility in the present is can. Okay, it's like it's telling you this is the answer. Okay, click here. Nice. And this is this is extra, but I want to know if you know. What about in the future? What do you think? Number four, the model verb will is used. Awesome. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we are talking. So will is also considered a model verb to express. What about this one in the past? Which one, which sentence is expressing uh, an ability in the past? Ability, which one? Uh, she could swim when she was five years old. Let's click it. 
There you go. Very good. Yeah. This is really interesting because when we are studying basic English, we learn to talk about the future. We, we have will and going to, but then in English, it's not like that. We have many ways to talk about the future, you know? So this is another way, right? We use what else, but this one was exactly referring to the past. So which sentence is may used for permission? What do you think? May I go to the restroom? That's very good. And we're talking. As you are answering this one, you know, is that we have to respond the other ones. Please tell me that you know the you know how to use. And the last one, which model uh, very is used to make requests or for permission. Two choices. Sure, sure. Mush. Mush. Mm, you're, yeah. not you're not reading. Okay, yeah, very good. Okay, Ken is the one. Ken is like in this is an area like two two choices. Well, uh huh, and that's we're not gonna do this. So let's analyze deeper these questions about moral verse. Moral. I'm gonna do this one. Just give me one second. And um, there are some ideas that I that I love to clarify when it comes to modal verse. And then we're gonna do that using another practice, okay? I know I prefer giving you, you know, a practice than, um, than theory. So uh, I'm gonna need help. I need 10 more students to help me out with this next exercises. And this one, the one that I'm presenting you guys, the, now we have the blessing of using, you know, online tools. And uh, these ones are the ones that I have selected, you know, they are trustworthy. So I can tell, you know, they are uh, well written and that's why I'm bringing you this material. So let's see, what about the, this question? What, which one is the correct one? What do you think? Any volunteer? And also I want you to explain to me why you choose either of these choices. So who wants to help? Let's analyze. Uh -huh. to, send, to send me the money. Could you please send me the money? I, I heard the two choices. I don't know. I heard the, both of them. So which one is the correct one? Let's put it this way. Let's say this is A and this is B. So which one is the correct one? And B? B Letter and B. Letter For B. A. Letter B. Why is it letter B? And I want to explain this with that with exercise. And I think that's the best way we can do it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anybody? Who wants to explain? Why is it letter B? Okay. Eso en el caso es al contrario. Porque el, el, el modal no utiliza, no utiliza el tú para conectar su verbo, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿cuál sería la correcta? ¿Verdad? Ok. Mire, si tenemos el, si, si tenemos el tú, ahí estamos cometiendo un error. Porque yo no digo... You could to send. We go. You could send. Okay, all right. So that's eso para los dijeron letter letter B. No, that's not correct, right? Vamos a dar un chequecito y vamos a ver la siguiente. La vamos a dejar. Así. Let's check the next one. Son diez. Let's check the next one. So could you please send me the money? We never say could you please to send. We don't connect. In infinity with with base with with models. Remember that. Let's continue. What about this one? Me dicen cuál y por qué. Why and 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 what is the answer? Letter B. B. Okay. Ahora ya caímos que no podemos decir uh, two para conectarlo, verdad? Nice. Let's continue. Solo son diez. ¿Qué más tenemos que entender de esos modales? 
How about this one? ¿Quién nos ayuda con esto? Uh -huh. I would like a dream. I would like a dream. Okay. No decimos I would like I would like in a dream. ¿verdad? Significa que después del el modal would, el nuestro verbo va en forma base. Ajá, forma base. Aquí está. Never, never ing, ¿verdad? Nice. We're, we're doing a good job. Continuemos. Vamos a tratar de hacer todo lo ejercicio posible que traigo para que sirvan de práctica. Okay. Next one. Vamos a ver el siguiente. What about this one? Alguien que no haya participado, por favor, que me diga cuál es la respuesta. A ver, class. She would like a coffee. She would like a coffee. A or B. A or B. A. 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 A or B. Ajá. ¿Por qué es A y no es B? Uh, because okay. uh, the word uh, is auxiliary. Es un auxiliar, ¿verdad? Y el verbo tiene que ir en... Forma base. Nunca le aplicamos la S, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Excelente, vamos. Vamos muy bien. Never, never, we never say... Nunca decimos likes, decimos like. ¿Verdad? Would like. Nos faltan seis. Vamos a ir avanzando y discutiendo las razones. What about this one? Analyze it. Could you, could please you bring my kids or could you please bring my kids? Mm -hmm. Which one? Could you please bring me, bring my kids? Okay. Okay. Aquí aprendemos, guys, que des, no podemos decir could please, ¿verdad? Es could you please it? Para ser bien polite, una, solic una, una solicitud de manera formal y cortés, polite. Could you please? That's genial. That's genial. That's cool. That's the way it should be done. No son nada más. Okay, what about this one? Analyze it, please. I want to know what's, what do you think? ¿Qué me da la Uno que no haya participado eh, para que, para que este, pues colabore, please. What do we say? Aha, uh -huh, Christian, thank Number you so one. much. Number one, can I have another drink? Or can I have two another drink? Or Number I can one. have... Number one. Number one? Yeah. Es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Una pregunta, muy bien. Good, vamos a seguir. Oh, we almost finished this exercise. See? We almost finished. Continue. Algo le pasó. Okay, what about this one? No sé si me salte una. Um, I think I didn't. So, this is a request otra vez. Una, un request. Which one is the correct one? Alguien que no nos haya participado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Alguien que no haya participado. Que nos ayude. Please. Which one? The number one call she please mails me later. Will she please email me later? Number one. <clears throat> Will she please could please she she could es una es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Es una solicitud que está haciendo, ¿ok? Y esta otra, guys, casi finalizamos. ¿Quién me ayuda? Let's see. Who helps me? ¿Quién? Uno nada más. Just one. Uh -huh. And number three, three, I will like to go to the beach. Excelente. Vean, vean lo importante y eso lo, la razón por la que traje este ejercicio es porque vamos a comprender algo diferente en eso. Fíjense, miren, eh, como ustedes lo acaban de decir, I would like, ya aquí se cumple la condición de modal verbo. Entonces, mi siguiente verbo, debo de ponerle la opción to para conectarlo porque es mi segundo verbo, ¿verdad? Y sabemos que el verbo go, go to, siempre va hacia un lugar, ¿verdad? Así que los que dijeron eso, pues le vamos a dar chiquecito. ¿Ok? Y finalizamos, we finish with the last one. 
What about this one? Analyze it and give me the answer, please. What's the answer? Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Anybody, any, any volunteer? Uh -huh. Would you the please number two? Number? Could you call me please tomorrow? Number three. Tenemos dos respuestas. Tenemos could you, could you call me please tomorrow? Or could you call me tomorrow, please? Ah, interesting. Or could you please call me tomorrow? Number Making three. Sure Number three. Hmm, number three, tenemos esta. Could you call me tomorrow, please? Could, could you call me please tomorrow? Could, please, or could you call me please tomorrow? So what, number three, me están diciendo la mayoría. Hablo, vamos a aprender el, el caso del, de cómo ponemos el please. Miren, hay una que nos quedó, entonces fue que me salté o algo así. Vamos a revisarlo. Y vamos a revisar cuál es la que tiene el mistake. Lo que estoy haciendo yo aquí, what I'm doing in here class, it's just an extra that you can do. That you can do. Algo, sí están correctas todos. Creo que solo fue cuestión de, de ya lo, lo estoy haciendo por segunda vez. Ya lo he hecho otra vez, pero sí, creo que me, me marca ahí. Este, no, ah, pero ahí están todos. This is 10. Yes, it's 10. Just the, you know, Cuando se retoman, si apareciera en rojo, ahí sería un mistake. Okay, what I'm doing, class, is just an exercise to, to give you more, like, ideas. Like how to use could, how to use can, and if it is possible, <clears throat> may. Before we continue, questions in regards to the platform, questions specific about any use of these models. Tengo como dos ejercicios más que me gustaría revisarlo, pero... Before we do that, I would love to hear if you have questions, specific questions, so we can keep, you know, working, working on it. Les voy a mandar, I'm going to send you one link. No es para que lo vean, nada más y lo ignoren. Eh, this link, I like it because it gives you the more offers. Le da the ability, le da the permission, le da the advice, deduction or probability, you know. And also we have uh, obligation, necessity, request. Así que le voy a mandar esta página en su tiempo libre. Que no, mañana no tenemos clase. Ahí, sé que, I know you work. I know you do. But in your free time, uh, y cuando estén en vez de estar viendo TikTok, se ponen a practicar. You know, and it's, it's a good practice. On the internet, hay muchas páginas. Y yo pues eh, considero que si es something that is going to help you clarify, do it. If practicing is, be is better than reading theory, honestly. You can read theory a lot, but then if you don't do well in the test, or if you don't understand how it works, then we're not doing much. You know, the point is that we uh, are able to understand them in context. Questions before we move on. Questions, questions. Ya les mandé el link ahí. Ahí lo tienen en el grupo ya. Ahí lo van a recibir. You're going to receive it in a minute. No vamos a hacer eso porque es too much. Y ustedes podrán hacerlo. Y lo bueno que en la página les da solo the name and, uh, the answers so you can check on how you do. Before we move on, questions. Quiero saber si hay preguntas. Questions. Questions, guys. No questions. Entonces quiero dar un espacio para hacer algo un poquito diferente. Hemos visto uh, una serie de, de respuestas, estructuras, la, la clase en el video que vieron en la plataforma les da la estructura. Ayer se las mostré y es la fórmula a seguir, de, you know. So I will, I will load now. No las no se conectaron ayer. I'm gonna show it to you. The video also provides the formula. Una formula bien básica que se puede decir. Quería compartir. I want to share it with you. In just a second, so this is. Me gustaría dejar un espacio. Tenemos como 15 minutos. 
pero para que creemos una conversación. Let's make it, uh, let's make it real. Hacemoslo ya en context. Uh, the topic for this unit is about health problems or health, you know, um, types or, you know, sicknesses, symptoms or possible medication or treatments or medicine. So I would love to hear uh, that you, on your own, create a short conversation. We can use this, the one that I'm displaying at the moment, and try to use, you know, modal verse. The, the formula is this one, like the one I'm mentioning, right? Can I, can I, blah, 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 may I, could I? Or you can even suggest you, you should, or you could, or you, you, and so on. And this, I'm going to give you only five minutes, you know, five minutes for you to create one short conversation, but make it real. Like, think about how you can use it in context. It can be uh, between one pharmacist and, and one customer. It can be your boss and you as an employee. It can be a teacher and a student. So you create the scenario, okay? But we don't have much time. I'm going to shut my mouth for a little bit and start writing. Teacher as great student response. And then what's the topic in discussion? And then I'm going to select randomly some of you to share. So five minutes. I think it's, it's okay. Start writing. Start writing. If you have questions, class, let me know. You're just creating a simple scenario, un escenario, ¿verdad? Donde como no podemos, no puedo hacer groups ahorita que vayan a hablar los, a los, así en Zoom, porque el tiempo pasa bien rápido. Así que lo vamos a hacer como, un, como especie de monologue. You know, you speak and you answer, okay? So let's take two more minutes, two more minutes.
Si quiere una pregunta. Sí, hombre. Mañana no hay clases, dijo, o escuché mal. Mañana no hay clases, solo el, el horario es de lunes a jueves. No sé si le explicaron eso. No. Sí, pero es de lunes a jueves. ¿Alguien, no, nadie sabía eso. No, Bien. creo. Creo que en el enlace decía de lunes a viernes. Mm. Voy a revisar ahorita el mensaje que me habían uh -huh. compartido, a ver uh -huh. si había leído mal. Uh -huh. Sí, pues y ya le a mí me dijeron de lunes a jueves, entonces este... En el correo hasta el jueves. Sí, de lunes Así a jueves. Así es cierto, dice uh -huh. hasta jueves. Así que mañana no hay clase, por eso es que ahora yo estaba, este, y venía con la intención de que ustedes, si tienen sus preguntas listas, las puntualicemos. Y eh, tratemos de tener, de tener esa cultura en las tres semanas que faltan. Cuando digas jueves, yo este, vendré con toda la disposición de me traen preguntas puntuales. Si es que ya creen que no está convencido de su respuesta, la dejan por ahí. O me pueden hacer preguntas en otros días, por supuesto. But you can um, ask your questions like Thursday because Friday we don't have classes. Sí, para que ya you finish it, ya se queda tranquilo el viernes. Ya se va para la playa y para el pascar. Agarra zumba, ya no hay problema. Pero si lo deja, ahí sí hay problema. Y sí, por eso que uh, let's make Thursday a day of clarifying questions too. Uh, even more, right? I know that during the week we can also talk about this uh, possible, you know, uh, questions. But today is the day, right? You make sure you have all clear so you don't struggle on the weekend right and even on friday agradezco mucho los que me reportan de a veces que no van a poder tomar las clases que me mandan mensajes es importante que usted también ya, tome este, iniciativa en eso está bien ¿no? pero también que usted vaya y luego complete los ejercicios y cumpla con el número de horas acuérdense que tiene un porcentaje que puede faltar que son 80 80% is, is required, so that's 20 left. Like, Clara, yes, Clara, tell me. Hello, teacher. Yo sí eh, le escribí ahí porque eh, estoy viajando a un trabajo nuevo. Entonces, eh, a veces allá estoy todavía a las 7 de la noche y a veces el día lunes vine 10 a las 9. He estado viniendo estos dos días más luego porque en moto he estado viniendo, pero igual este, me he conectado. Vaya, vengo conectada, pero ese es mi problema ahorita. Y tal vez por eso no le he dicho presente, pero sí, yo informé también eso de mi horario. Sí, este, bueno, en ese caso, si ya, están, ya se ha enterado la administración, los coordinators, no problem, ¿ok? Trate de cumplir con la con la plataforma, platform, y pues ahí ¿verdad? también, por lo demás se entiende. Uh -huh. Well, thank you then for reporting, Club. No problem. All right. So, no problem. No tenemos mucho tiempo, clase. Solo son como siete minutos, pero I would love to hear your participations. ¿Quién ya está listo? Si no, vamos a hacer una random. Vamos, en lo que ustedes terminan su exercise, voy a hacer una ruletilla rapidito para que ustedes así el más suerte the, the luckiest is going to participate si no la ha terminado no para decir por qué no la hizo right? okay. so let's see I'll give you one more minute for you to finish you know because we don't have much time one minute FYI, 
I uh, when I finish the classes, you know, you can still go ahead and watch the class if you didn't if you didn't join, right? If you didn't join the class, the classes are recorded and they are posted in in our channel. You know, in, in our YouTube channel, you can do it. Yo puedo ver los reportajes de asistencia que tenemos aquí y pues tengo varios casos que allí los tengo ya marcados que no no están al 100, ¿verdad? Entonces, por favor, ahí asegúrense. Make sure, make sure you... Si ya se pasó, ya usó varios minutos, no se dé oportunidad de seguir faltando más. ¿Ok? No tengo mucho tiempo ya y pues... Ya se pone esta loading... Vamos a elegir uno, dos o tres. ¿no? Así que si sale de ahí, de, if you are selected, you, were, you are the luckiest. Let's see. Hmm? I got this list. I don't know if, the, if it's the correct list I got. Hopefully it is. Okay, voy a compartir la pantalla y vamos a elegir el primer participante. I'm going to make a, this is a quick selection. Right, so the first one to share that comes is Carlos Misael Juárez. Is Carlos here? No sé si la lista correcta la que tomé. Carlos. Is Carlos here? Carlos. No veo que no, no lo veo conectado. No sé si es la lista que era la correcta. Sí, pues, aparentemente, vamos a ver si uno más. Next one. Lilian Guadalupe. Is Lilian here? I'm a Lilian. Lilian. Yo creo que agarro otra lista. No me ven sus nombres ahí. You are right. Okay. Vamos a darle uno más porque si no, no nadie va a participar. I don't see Lilian. Where's the list, teacher? Ah, no. No. Ah, yeah. I was sabe de la del online. Quizás otra otra me pegó la 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 de copy paste. Well, no tengo mucho tiempo, así que uno vamos a elegir entonces. Who wants to? Si no, pues la vamos a dejar para para la otra clase. La otra clase va así. It's gonna be like better. It's gonna be like ah, uh, but like bigger conversation, larger. Okay, I don't have much time. I only have three minutes. Just one volunteer. Hoy le va a tocar bien facilito. No traigo a tener vista la lista. Yeah, because I, I can see different names here. So yeah, tell me. Yo Any... hice algo pequeño y no sé si estará bien. Uh -huh. Please go ahead. Okay. May I have insomnia? My head hurts and I cannot sleep. Should you take vitamins? And it's a good idea not to stress. You are right. Yes, has you know has the moral verse has the moral verse. I like it. Idea. Remember that the word is idea and in idea and vitamins. Vitamins is the pronunciation. But yeah, that's that's the idea. So remember, idea is the pronunciation and vitamins, and the rest. Uh, if it is may I have, it's like you are asking for maybe permission, right? May I have this? If you can be requesting something, but in a in a very polite way. May I have 
something for my blah blah blah. Or can I may I have uh some vitamin because I'm not not been feeling okay lately and so on. But yeah, you mentioned you have the idea. Class, um, I only have two more minutes. Is there anyone who wants to participate? Thank you so much for your participation. No, any one more, one more. Uh, Jocelyn, go ahead, Jocelyn. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. Hi, would you like to drink coffee with me? Hi, yes, of course, but today I'm just, I have a lot of homework. Can we go to tomorrow? Yes, it's okay. You should go back home to do your homework. Nice. That was good, Jocelyn. I heard can and should. You know, those are the two models used. Class, uh, keep your writings for for Monday. I'm gonna start with that with this activity. I'm gonna select. I uh, hopefully I'm gonna have the correct list on Monday, and we can you know have some participations. So I'll see you on Monday. Complete the exercises once again. You have tomorrow to finish until I think midnight. That's the latest you can do it. And have a good weekend. Have a great weekend. See ya. Take care, please.